Welcome back to RTC, ladies and gentlemen. It's your host, Craig, and today we're going to be talking about the Contraptions DLC. It's a slight review. I'm going to give an honest one about it. So far, with the, the week that I've had Contraptions, uh, I've saw some numerous improvements on some of my builds and whatnot with certain structures and types, scaffolding being one of my favorites now, and just a few disappointing ones as well, which I'm going to point out in this room directly, which is the rifle racks or the pegboards that are our rifle racks now, which you can only put one gun at a time on, and... Certain rifle racks only, like weapon racks, only take one weapon on and then there's just this little pistol by itself on the wall with nothing else on it, which is crazy, which has tons of more room to put more weapons on it. But as you can see here, I'm doing like a side-by-side -side comparison once again with my one, my rifle rack to that rifle rack. It is quite nice, you can vary your favorite weapons and put them on the wall, but there's not a lot to it. That's really it. You know, it was just a pegboard with some pegs on it, I guess. You just plop a rifle on there and just put as many as you want on the wall. It wasn't a very good add-on to it, but I have made my uses out of it. I have combined it with a different uh, uh, add-on from Far Harbor as well to make rifle boards and stuff like that, and like lines of rifles and whatnot. You can see the pistol rack there as well. That's fine for a pistol rack, but there's another one which is very small and or larger than that one and it just looks ridiculous having one pistol on the wall really you know and giving over here now it's just like the whole like display aspect like I love the display aspect like the display weapon cases are they could be worked on a little bit more the display armor racks are quite cool but there's a quite a big bug at the moment where if you store the rack before taking off the if you just store the display mannequin before taking off all the clothes you lose all those clothes permanently these are my favorite though these are a great add-on into the game right right now this is the great add-on to the game is these heavy weapon racks which are fantastic you know and it just makes a really really like it just gives you more elements and more like immersion into your world and stuff like that going on and now when i spoke about like the whole um display racks kind of thing here we have a magnum at the moment just my magnum sitting in there then the armor racks as well the new posters the power armor displays the power armor displays could have been executed a bit more with uh, different poses or you can equip a weapon onto them while they're in there or anything like that but you know it's a display plain and simple it looks nice it actually looks really nice here and i kind of like started to like display display uh power armor displays uh display cases a lot and the armor cases as well not the armor cases the armor racks as well and also i'm loving these new posters that they give us like they give us a bunch of old world posters but the only downside is why did they give us all powered one not like just a normal wall poster that you can just stick on the side of a wall and you know that that kind of ruined it for me a, a bit like i like the posters that have to be lit up and stuff like that these ones don't have to be connected to power they just have to be near power and they work the other ones though on the other hand have to have power directly into it and it's kind of weird that it just doesn't work out too well and you know like i'm not complaining about it. that's too bad but i tend not to use them too much i tend to use the ones with the little light you just need to be surrounded by power so it's kind of a hit and miss on the idea there overall with this we're just getting like it's going to just slide through all the armor racks that i did as well this is in the uh, united States museum i'm just showing refoiled of this because it's it just makes sense and what i'm talking about will make sense as well as i go along and like it just it just changes a bit you know like it does change up quite a bit. You can do some interesting exploits with these and put like one of these mannequins inside of the long display ra weapon racks kind of thing, display cases. And now we're moving on to something that I'm still trying to grasp my head about, which is the machinery part of this. Like I know there's new conduits where you can like move electricity through walls and whatnot and all around the building. You know, I'm still trying to wrap my head around that. I think that's a great concept and I think that part of it's really good, but some stuff is being like it's beyond me really. Like a lot of people can get logic gate straight away. It took me a while to get them to see how they worked and I didn't really like pay attention to when I was doing it. But overall I started using a bit of logic gates now and a few builds that are my you know, my personal playthrough. And they work pretty well. I think I met a functioning gate. Like literally. And I was happy with that. And then I'm going to talk about the uh, whole industry kind of thing, business here, where you have auto looms, uh, food processors, weapon forges, armor forges. They're pretty cool in this concept, but when we got them, it was very lacking, really. You can build weapons and stuff like that and so on and so forth. But, like, armor, it consists of different combat armors, leather armors, and that's it. 
and none of the DLC stuff was added into it, like marine, the marine armor and whatnot. And with the auto loom, where it just makes civilian clothing. I know that shouldn't be a big deal, but like army fatigues, military fatigues, uh, marine wetsuits, all that kind of stuff should have been thrown in there as well. And But with armor as well, I don't think you can actually make helmets. Unless you can make the combat helmet, that's fine, but making ammunition as well, like it doesn't like, all that stuff is really cool, but doesn't, it leaves out quite a lot of the game's items as well, which is unfortunate. And um, given that this right now, you see the footage of the uh, ammunition going into the conveyor storage. I set up a basic munitions factory that I manually do here. And it was quite good. And some stuff like with conveyors and how you work them in the computer systems, it's a kind of a bit um, all over the place for my liking, I guess. Like, um, I would tell a certain machine to do something than another one, and only one machine would get its supplies first, and then trying to convey them as well. Sometimes it glitched out on me, where one side wouldn't even convey anything. I think that's been fixed so far, but that was a little bit of a nitpicking moment. And that's pretty much it on the, uh, on the contraptions, but I'm going to talk about something else as well. And this is my honest opinion right now. I should actually just do this first. My overall like grade on contraptions is 5 out of 10. That's my honest review of it, but like certain aspects of it would make it an 8 out of 10 or 7 out of 10. So those two, the certain aspects that I've been using have been making it a great aspect of a DLC for me. I love the DLC at this point. Some stuff I wouldn't even use, but some stuff I do. So overall, with the stuff I wouldn't use, it would get an actual re like review rating of 5 out of 10. But with the stuff, and I've kind of learned how you use it and not just like went off on the one random point it's been great i actually love it a lot now and i give it a solid 8 out of 10 for its uses but now i'm actually going to talk quickly as you saw that we are going down into the vault for the first time vault 111 or 111 as most people call it like vault 111 is <laughs> like a great experiment it's about cryo storage and with the vault tech dlc you would be able to build your own vault now which overall has been confirmed that you do have a mission with a story mission with it of some sort or a side quest mission a mission i'm not too sure how it's going to go where you can build your own vault and have it as a new settlement i'm not confirming that you can build vaults anywhere i don't think you can to be honest i like to be proven wrong about that but you'll be able to build your own vault run experiments on people and basically do what you much but i won't expect too much because it is only like a four four euro or five dollar dlc which is probably going to add a lot of new building elements, generators, power, different clothing. Maybe with the Contraptions DLC, you, may, you might be able to mass produce vault tech equipment now. But that's about it. But overall, like the whole thing that I really want to get into is the experimentation. There's lots of different vaults that you've used. But I'm just hoping this is not an over-glorified Fallout shelter for the, this game. Which I wouldn't mind too much if you can train stats on settlers and send them out and do like send them out to do quests or actually help the Minutemen or whatnot. But like as again, it's going to be a four euro or five dollar DLC, so I'm not going to expect much from it. But it's pretty much that's it. Like I'd like to see what would happen. Like that's really it. Like well, like and it, this will reflect on how mods are made now and more DLCs come out for it as well and like more interesting aspects more updates more edits some stuff that bethesda never even put in bethesda i said that right i think uh didn't put even put in will be put in with mods and stuff like that so overall i'm really i'm slightly skeptical of this vault uh vault dlc but i'm kind of hoping at the same time it's going to be something very interesting and it will give us a whole new possibility of building which i cannot wait for but anyway guys i've hopefully not bored you to death with this but i've been your host as always and i'll see you next time on rtc see you guys have a good